Shalom. My name is Terry Mason. Are you an ambassador? You might be and not even know it. Or maybe you consider yourself more of an intercessor. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines an ambassador as an authorized representative or messenger. As an ambassador, you don't go out on your own initiative, and you certainly don't take your own message with you. No, you go out as a representative of someone higher in rank and authority to yourself. And being an ambassador is a very high calling. The Jewish people take their calling as God's chosen people, a holy nation, very seriously. They realize that how people view their lives and behavior will clearly reflect on the God that they love and serve. They do everything they can to ensure Kiddush Hashem, the sanctification of God's name. They want their behavior to elevate God's character to the world around them. The opposite behavior is Chilul Hashem, the desecration of God's name, something that we should all try to avoid. As believers, we often self-identify through terminology that we use or symbols that we wear. For instance, even the fish symbol on the back of our car. And we have to realize that that automatically makes us ambassadors for God's kingdom. The Apostle Peter, in his first letter, reminds us that we are now part of God's family. In 1 Peter 2.9, he says, we're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, his own special people. But why, why would God choose us to be grafted in and be part of his kingdom? Well, Peter goes on to explain that it's because we're to proclaim the praises of him who's called us out of darkness into his glorious light. As part of God's people, it's our responsibility to lead holy lives that elevate God's character and bring honor to his name. And what about our second key word, intercessor? Well, the Oxford Dictionary defines an intercessor as a person who intervenes on behalf of another, especially by prayer. Psalm 2 verse 8, God is speaking and he says, ask of me and I will give you the nations as your inheritance. We're called by God to intercede on behalf of the nations, to pray that God will open their spiritual eyes, to help them realize and acknowledge his sovereignty in this world, to help them again recognize that he's still doing covenant miracles through his people and through this land of Israel. We need to take seriously our responsibility as God's ambassadors and intercessors. We live in momentous days of world history and God has given us this vital role to play, to join him in what he's doing. If you'd like to learn more about how you can be a more effective ambassador and intercessor on behalf of the nations for God's kingdom, I encourage you to go to our website, Bridges for Peace, and find the Israel teaching letter, Ambassadors and Intercessors, and read more and study and take it to heart. Music